Okay, among the talented guys, it's okay. among the talented guys, it's okay. Ten, fifty, yes. Yeah. Okay. Very hard work and long way. Six years for extra talent. Okay. One hundred years. <laughs> it's not enough. It's not, it's not yes, enough for some chance. some guys. Okay. So that's really important. Is that previously very hard work to the other level. And there's only a few guys that reach this level. What is the ratio between the beginners and the Olympic medalists in your country? How many now in this year just started 1,000 fencers? How many will be Olympic champions among them? One. One. Only one? Only one. Yeah, we have both do, you have, do, you, do you have Olympic champions in fencing? Yes. How many? No, no. We don't have. Five. How many? Seven. Okay. Among. In Rio, how many? Zero. 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 Come on. Then from 1,000, Neil. Very hard. If there is a big sport, for example, in Soccer, okay. Olympic championship is not not good example because the world championship is the the biggest event in soccer. But only one team can be the champion. In your sport, individual or team category, there are existed. Okay, weapons. There are more possibility to win in fencing. Okay, one in foil, one in epee, one in saber. Okay. But in team sport, only one. Interesting. In kayak canoeing, there are more distances, okay? Ladies, boys, yes. you want to see? Yeah, we have a very interesting uh, thing about this. In, in football, we have, yep. we have national camps for the best players of every region. Two yep. of the best players. Good. So there must be like 200 or 16 years old. Yep. But only one of those. And up ten years later in the crazy league. Yeah. One plus one. Of one hundred. Yeah. It's really a few guys can reach the really big uh, uh, highest level. That's it. Who is world champion or Olympic champion among you? Anything? Are you? No. Come on. <laughs> Are you joking? Are you kidding me? Sorry. European champion. European champion. Good. Okay. Good. Okay. One of you. European champion, please. Very good. Two among you. Asian champion, please. Very good. Three. <laughs> Swedish champion. Okay. The, the important is that we are uh, practicing with a lot of children, a lot of uh, youngsters and adults and many of them were released they just dropped out from the system uh, in different ages okay 16 18 because the university is much more interesting for them than they are going there and okay they're not recreational level but no problem with this only a very few will be uh, reach the level. Okay. Let's see the types of the organization in the sport. Can be governmental organization, GO, GOs, okay? In sport also. In many countries, the sport clubs owned by the state. For example, in Romania. What about Bulgaria? You are civil in clubs, or uh, there are uh, state-owned uh, clubs? No, private clubs. Private? Pri private. Okay, so civil. Yeah, okay. The governmental organizations can be political, like parliament or police, or can be non-political, 
vocational, for example, social service, or institute, or something like that, run by the government. Okay? Can be. Differs country by country. In the US, not really. What about England? Uh, Who owned the tax? We have the what about the tax? Do you know what the tax? T A S S. Who owned this? It's for England, which are owned by the government. Uh huh. Okay. So, in the U.S., absolutely no, because traditionally they are just running the business side. But in your countries, in my countries, yeah, they are. Okay. There are non-governmental organizations, NGOs. Okay. Sorry, sorry. About yep. the sports institutes, they are not political. Not non-political, yeah, but governmental uh, organizations, so owned by the government, directed by the government. For example, it can be uh, in Hungary, Sport Institute, which just run the Olympic uh, training camps. Okay, the facility owned by uh, by the government. Understandable. In Portugal, in Portugal, the sport institute that uh, it's civil gives, side. gives money to, to all the federations to control it, to okay. find the priority. It's, it's, it's your way. It's no problem. Yeah. It can be. It differs country by country. That's why I just said it. Okay. 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 Uh, the title of the organization can be then non-governmental NGOs. Political are the parties. Okay. Democrat and uh, what the other? Republican. Republican. Okay. What about Sweden? Many parties. Many parties. Okay. In Hungary, Fidesz is the governing party now. We have really many. Just ten or something like that. What about what about uh, England? Labour. Yeah, Labour, uh, Tory. And, and Tory. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Different country by country. <laughs> non-political NGOs, sport clubs, federations, in many countries, but in many countries owned by the state, okay, is the, the architecture of the, of the uh, governing uh, power, okay, it depends on. Business organizations, it's much clearer. Business organization, for example, Chelsea. Okay, <laughs> LTD or something like that. I don't know what the, the form of the business. Okay. Uh, limited country. Okay. According to the aim, we can also see for profit business companies and non profit from the civil sector. It's on the aim. Why they are working? For money or for because the it's a value what they are just creating. Understandable? Okay. According to the, their outcome, can be productive, producer of gas, okay? So which means that uh, uh, saber or mask or something like that, they just produce. And unproductive, like a service. Uh, what are you doing? What's that? Productive or unproductive? Is it service? Unproductive, yeah. No good. Okay. According to their position in the system, arbiter, leader organization, or executive, subjected organization. Understandable in English? Federation and the club. The club is the member of the federation. So this is the, the federation is the leader, the arbiter, and the executive is the club. Because the regulation of the federation is re uh, obligatory for the club. Understandable? They should follow what the federation wants. The federation is the member, in case of fencing, of the National Olympic Committee. Okay, so the federation should follow what the Olympic Committee wants to do. Understandable? Arbiter, executive. Is it okay? In English? Hmm? Did you catch it? Yes. Good. Okay. We just do it. Social expectations towards sports organizations. 
if we see the leisure sport, the recreation, very important, the while away. What does it mean, while away? Yeah, yeah. feeling good, okay, well-being and other. Okay, health developing or maintaining this sector. If you are fat like me, and you are going to a, a fitness club, and you just uh, uh, lose weight, then it's healthier. That's okay, developing, health developing. If I am now in my shape, and I am not more fat, then maintaining my health. Understandable? Okay. In the elite sport, performance, winning, and record in the adults level. Okay? And what's the social expectation, image, and reputation? Come on. Hungary is not a big country. Okay? Or Sweden, not a big country. But we can compete against the USA, against Russia, against other nations who are much bigger than, than our country. Okay? That's why it's the, for the image, it's very important, the sport. What about England or Great Britain? Uh, Was it good for you to organize the Olympic Games in 2012? Uh, in sport, from the sport side? It was, it was good, um, a lot of focus was on the legacy. Yeah. Um, was it good in the, in the country image? Uh, it was, I think we delivered an excellent game, and it was about how we could organize And the fantastic Paralympic game, with full uh, facilities, come on. That's really nice, really good, okay. It was expensive, I understand, okay. But for your country image, it's absolutely positive. Yeah? Sorry, what about the country image, you, what you win in events? More tourism? What? Uh, to being on we the map. Not in the cold mm -hmm. wait, wait a minute. To being on the map is very important. Understand about this? Being on the map? Yeah. If you are a little country, but very successful in one or two or more sports, and you can compete against USA, against England, against Germany. It's very important to be identi identificate ourselves. Understandable? That if we are just uh, winning over a big Not hockey country, ourselves. come on, we are hungry and understandable? Identity. To create self-esteem. Self yeah. Yeah. Understand? Yeah, and you do. Yeah. Okay, so the image, uh, if we just want, uh, Hungarian, we can't compete with a big uh, and a very rich nation in economical field. No chance. <coughs> Some cooperation business or something like that. But in sport, if we are just, we'll be in very good in fencing or something like that, come on. Hmm? We are the best in the world in that sport. Understandable? So that's, that's <coughs> the image. Strength and the, the country image. Okay? If we are just organizing a very good, uh, you, you just uh, did a modern principle. Oh, Ertusha. Okay. For example, Ertusha. Or triathlon. Okay. In the, in the castle, in the river, and others, and after that, the broadcasting will, uh, uh, will be uh, see in the TVs in England, in Portugal, or something. Oh, nice city, I will travel there. Understandable? That's why it's very important. Hmm? Yeah, Agree? I mean, no? in London, in, uh, when the Olympics came to London, it wasn't just London, it was the UK, it was, we had. We had uh, the, the, the sport foot, in different foot, places yeah, in Newcastle. Football and the sailing was another. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very important. In London, uh, the Olympic Park was built on in a, in a very old and uh, not good uh, area. That's good. Which involved the city, city reconstruction. And the yeah. Malaysian companies yeah. and that. Yeah, okay. School sport. So the elementary school, secondary school, university sport, fun and physical literacy. What does it mean? 
in U.S. physical literacy. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Are you from the U.S., eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? Of course. Do you speak English? <laughs> Some Badly. Hey, ability badly. to move. Sorry? Ability to move. Ability to move. Okay, so many experience in, from many movements, okay, from many sports. Really important. Okay, that's the, the basic uh, issue of the school sport. Preconceive active lifestyle. To, to suggest being active the whole life. That's the reason why it's important. Understandable? Okay, physical literacy. Tomorrow will be more detail about that. Okay? You will. Okay. Yeah. You will learn it. Got it. Physical literacy. You will learn it. I yeah. Like, I like that very firmly. You will learn. Absolutely. <laughs> I have a teacher. Yeah, and we will learn. Push it, teacher. <laughs> okay. I'm now, sure the date of the international organization, FIE, 1930. Old. Mm -hmm. More than 100 years. You can see FIFA, Athletic Federation, IOC. What is FIT? Gymnastic. Federation International of the Gymnastics. In this uh, time, there are many international federations just was founded. Still to the 30s, 40s. Uh, Bandy was just founded in uh, 55. Mm -hmm. or no, bandy. Bandy. Bandy, ice, ice bandy. Bandy. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, why? What was the reason to create this federation? Just Olympics. Olympics. Organize. Organize what? Performance of the oral association around the world. All around. How do you mean? For example, organize a competition every year. Uh, organize, for example, uh, the age of the participants for each uh, age uh, session, also, mm -hmm. and also okay. nationalism, I believe. How do, how do you mean? You started talking about earlier uh, about competing against other nations. Okay. And so this was an era when nationalism was growing. Uh, okay. I, I will highlight a little bit more uh, due to the example of handball, okay? There was three countries where it was very popular, not Sweden, those five, okay? <laughs> Denmark, handball. In the, in the territory of Czech Republic, Bohemia, Hazen. In Germany, Torball with different regulation, with different rules. Almost the same, but not the same. Understandable? Mm. The International Federation <coughs> just make regulation of the competition, the number of the player, the size of the Sorry, field. It still recognizes gold ball and star ball recognizes gold. Yes, okay. But the International Federation regulate the sport in, in the member states. And after that, they will be able to compete against each other in the same regulation system. Understandable? That's why you can <coughs> compete against each other in fancy. Because the FIE regulate in every member state should follow this regulation. Understandable? Why was it necessary to create it? That was the reason, okay? And it, it, it was a different time in the sport, okay, you can see. But really, that the nations could, the athletes of the nation could compete against each other, that, that was the main issue, okay? Yeah. There is from your uh, International Federation uh, website. Please read it. French guys, 
I really uh, can't uh, pronounce the name, Labo, Beot, in Hungary and Belarus, now it's just by the, the, the table regulation, okay? Mm -hmm. And European Olympic just with very precise rules, because international federations regulate, okay? Have you ever read it? Did, just now. Just now? New information about your sport? Yeah. Good. Read it. Because it's very good to know about that. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah, it's interesting because I assume that they would have needed an international federation yeah. to allow it to compete in the first Olympic because we've been there one and four, five sports since modern Olympics. Yeah. But the first Olympics must have been a, a bit of a, the Birmingham Open, as we mm -hmm. call it. It's a bit rude. It is a bit like I, I read yeah, Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's really interesting. Oh, the facts. Mm. So in the early time, it was a big, big mess up. Absolutely. <laughs> 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 After that, it's clear, yeah, clearer. Yeah. Okay. Can we? Can we go through? Okay. International Olympic Committee, IOC, is it important in the sport? Yeah. In the fencing? Yeah. 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 What about the uh, perspective of the NHL? Is it important, the IOC? Is the IOC important to the NHL? Yeah. Not really. They don't care about the Olympic Games. No, that's, that's not good. But in many sports, the Olympic Games are the most important in fencing. This is the most valuable event. Who just win the Olympic medal? Come on, that is the, really the best. Okay, PA is the member of the IOC. Uh, the IOC. Okay, but the IOC is not the only organization. <coughs> the Olympic movement, which is a big umbrella, okay, is the IOC. International Sports Federations, which are on the schedule, okay? Nowadays, karate and others, okay? But now, uh, ultimate frisbee or something like that. Hmm? National Olympic Committees and the organizing committees for the Olympic Games. This, the Olympic movement. Uh, what happened in 2012 in the in the closing ceremony. What was the sy symbolic uh, event or part of the closing ceremony? Handing the cup, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, that, that was the question. Mm -hmm. Just handing over the, uh, the baton or the, the opportunity, oh. the torch to the next. To who? 70th of Japan. In London? In the, uh, no, no, I think the Olympics. <laughs> okay. <laughs> In oh, Brazil, in Rio. Oh, sorry, Brazil. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in Brazil, ahead. the Brazil Olympic Organizing Committee just give the flag to the Olympic uh, Committees, Organizing Committees, Tokyo. Okay. So that's very symbolic uh, procedure. But that's the continuity of the Organizing Committees. Okay. And this is the knowledge sharing. Because all the the knowledge about the organizing uh, issues will be shared with the next organizing committee. That's very important. Okay. Uh, okay, I just missed the slide. So this is the organization of the FIE. You can see President Mr. Alisher Ushamov from Russia, Bureau. Russia. Uh, Russia. I, I think, yeah. Russia, Usmanov, sorry, Usmanov, what, what, what I said? Usmanov, Usmanov, sorry, okay, <laughs> member, <laughs> president of the confederation and commission and councils, okay, so many uh, stakeholders, also, and many <coughs> members, many people are in the FIE organization. Now, going back to the IOC, 
The IOC is really important. This is the biggest sport event, okay? Uh, what we can compare to the IOC uh, Olympic Games? What kind of sport events are almost the same? Size. <coughs> Football, World Cup, okay? Sorry? Champions League. Champions League, uh, it's for clubs, not for the uh, national teams. Different. Okay. No. Not, not, not a big one. Okay. So, if we just see the participants, how many athletes can participate in the Olympic Games, in the Summer Games? How many? What do you think? More than 10,000, I think. More than 10,000? But how many? <laughs> Very good. More. 12,500. This is the limit, okay? Because it's always growing, growing, and more expensive, more expensive. Now there's a big problem with the Olympic movement. Nobody wants to organize Olympic Games. The Winter Games, Beijing, will be the next. Why? Because it's expensive. What they earn money after this? Uh, wait a minute. Agenda 2020. Do you know what's that? Agenda 2020? What's that? It's some that uh, the Olympic Committee decided to... To reduce the budget. Okay, so that... Because it's not... Uh, for example, Hungary just uh, cancelled the participation of the, of the 2024. Application. Why? Because it's too expensive for for us. Only two uh, cities, Paris and Los Angeles, is running. Paris now will be uh, uh, voting about that they are want or not. Big money. Agenda 2020 just try to reduce the the, the cost, but it's too big even really to be. In the Winter Olympic Games, I think uh, since, since uh, 2000, there's a big problem who will organize the Winter Games. Beijing will be the first city which can organize Summer and Winter Games as well. In Sochi, 2014, there was a, the most expensive Olympic Games. Do you know the, the real cost of the uh, Olympic organizing? Making uh, snow. Sorry? Making snow. Making snow in the, in the mountains, okay. But what, what was the, the amount? Do you know? 